What is going on, YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza. This is your sister Kat, and then this is your nephew Sai, and we are KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all these things. Today's review is all about the Duna. The Duna is known as the Swiss Army knife of the uh, Chow Seat community, if you're one of those kind of enthusiasts like us. But is it all that it's cracked up to be, and is it really worth your money? We're going to find out right now. All right, y'all, so it's been eight months since we've been using the Duna stroller in Almost mid- nine. What next, did I just say? Next Monday will be nine months. Oh, as you, if you're watching this video, you're probably very familiar with this thing already. You've probably seen before how it works. Really cool and really simple in theory. All you do like this is- Seem to be like very boom. versatile. Yes, you do like that, boom, you got a car seat. And then you press this button back here and then you come back again and you have a stroller. Don't have to take your baby out. Don't have to do anything like that. This thing costs about... The one that we got cost us somewhere around $800. I'll put the correct price. Because we had a special midnight edition that came with the extra bag. It has like a leather... Um, handles. Handles. Yeah. So And it's all black. So ours came a little bit more expensive. I think regular Duna costs about what? 600 bucks? Yes, I think no. The entry level dunas are like five fifty, and then okay, it goes up from there. Okay, so yeah. So, uh, so we saw the stroller. We thought it was very, very sleek, very sexy. In theory, we thought it was great, but for us, it did not work so much. And now, let me just pre uh, preface this whole conversation with this: your results will vary based upon your baby, your lifestyle, what kind of cars you drive, all those different things. But these are our results with our lifestyle. So we're going to start out with our pros and why we got this thing. So number one, we got it because in theory, it just looks great. It seems like it's a simple thing. Mm -hmm. It's sleek. It's sexy. We saw a bunch of people in Miami and other places that we travel with these things. And we were like, you know what? We should give it a go. Yeah. And um, that's pretty much where the pros <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we definitely expected one thing and uh, it turned out completely something different for us. Yeah, so my wife and I, we both wrote our pros and cons uh, separately, and when we compared our notes, we both had the same pros and cons, so we're going to follow the notes, and we're going to tell you all the cons now, and why we stopped using this thing after less than three months in. So, the number one con, and just the overall header, is that this thing is great in theory, but it's not so great in real life, and there's a bunch of reasons why. Number one... For us. Yes, for and us. And be mindful. We're not going to repeat that every time. For us. For us. But number one, this thing is a bit too narrow and a bit too deep. And our son was born pretty large. So, yeah, so our son was born almost two pounds bigger than we anticipated. He was almost nine pounds and he was very long for the newborn baby. It was almost 22 inches. So even without all the inserts inside the Duna, he was feeling pretty squeezed in there. So he would get aggravated very fast. And yes, I know a lot of babies don't like to sit in the car seats and some do, but he just hated it no matter how many times we tried to make him get used to it. So after a little while, we realized that he's, it's too narrow for him, he's not comfortable, and it's getting too hot in, in there for him. And mm -hmm. I've heard the too hot thing is from, mul from multiple people. Mm -hmm. We have several people that we know and uh, every single person said, yes, it's getting too hot in there. Right. So that was the first one that did not work out for And us. even in the wintertime, he was still getting too hot in and didn't mm -hmm. like it. So yeah, it was too hot, it was too narrow, it was too deep. Uh, your child can grow out of it really fast. It was another thing that we both agreed on. Mm -hmm. And in our sense, he was almost born too big for this stroller to be honest with you uh because very short period yeah because we couldn't do road trips we couldn't go anywhere far with this stroller he would sit in and he would complain like he would just like he would see the stroller and he would get mad mm -hmm. <laughs> and his shoulders would be like this and i mean he's you know he's a little beefcake but he's not that brawny of a baby but he's not a like a chubby baby but it still was very narrow for him we have mm -hmm. a neighbors who have a small baby girl and for her, it seems to working out better because she's much smaller, she's more narrow, she's not as tall. Mm -hmm. For us, it was definitely no-go. Yep. So another thing that we both agreed was really not so great about this thing is this center clip right here that goes between the legs of your baby. And so that thing never really fully disengages easily. You have to mess with it several times while you're trying to uh, clip your baby free. And it's just not, yeah, it just doesn't operate as, as seamless as mm -hmm. you would think. 
Um, another thing is that this thing is not as easy to put in your car as it seems, depending on what type of car you have. But we live in the city. We're always in tight parking spaces. And getting it in and out can be a... It's like it's just like you're, you're literally putting a car seat in and out of your car every single time. But you don't think about it like that because it seems so cool and sexy. But with the combined weight of this and your, and your kid, and this thing is 17 pounds, and then whatever weight your kid is, it can be very cumbersome putting this thing in and out of your car every time you yeah, get to the location. Yeah, that was definitely very heavy for me to put in and out, especially with him. Mm -hmm. uh, so is my mother. And then another thing, right? So it comes with the base but you can clip it with the um, seat belt. Mm -hmm. So we used my mom's car when we came from the hospital because she was picking us up. Her car is a little smaller. Her seat belt, we kind of struggled putting it, clipping it with a seat belt because the seat belt seemed almost not long enough. But it's like, but you can use the direct uh, clipping mechanism with the base if you have the base, but we, mm -hmm. didn't, we didn't have the base that day for some reason. Yeah. So make sure you use the base because it's much easier, easier, especially with modern vehicles, to clip it in with the base because it has those quick connect things. Um, so it's not so easy to put in the car. And it, Okay, so it's not a great stroller. And let me preface this that, you know, when something is a multi-use thing like this, when it's a car seat and a stroller, it ends up being a not so great either one of them. And we, I really realized that when we got our... Uh, upper baby and our new nuna strollers those strollers have better tires it has suspension it's comfortable it's wide it gives you all these other features that make the whole strollering experience a lot better for you and for your baby versus this has no suspension the tires are pretty small everything you roll over is like bumping your baby so unless you're just like rolling around the mall or any other shopping area that's really smooth and easy to walk this stroller right here does not work outside of shopping can't change the seating angle yes can't change the seating angle that's a big thing and because you know as your child develops and grows and starts looking around more and can control their neck muscles they're going to start wanting to sit up and see the world they're not going to want to be confined in this deep cavern this deep hot cavern that is this stroller and yeah, that was one thing that really aggravated my son trying to use this thing as a stroller. And um, the other thing about it is that it's really not that great of a car seat either because of all the reasons that we already mentioned. And it's like when you pull your kid out of the stroller, when you put your kid in the stroller, it wakes them up. It shakes them too much. It's too hot. It's too deep. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, you know what else? And speaking of this bag, we can go back to this really expensive bag that we had to add on. The storage factor, man, that storage factor on the Nuna, on the upper baby strollers that we use now, so much better than only having this bag. Like, So I know this thing comes with additional, you can get like this additional storage that clips right here and it works, mm. but it's still small. And I know for those people who's going to say, well, you guys expecting too much. This is just a pretty much a car seat with the wheels. Yes, it is, but it's expensive car seat with the wheels, mm -hmm. and it would be great to have additional features built into it if we paying that kind of price. Because our travel Nuna stroller was cheaper than this thing. Yeah. By far, almost half. While we're talking about the bag, do you want to say anything else about the bag? Because I didn't really use this um, that much. The bag was good. It's small, which, I mean, I guess it's expected. It's just a quick storage right it has like compartments i didn't mind the bag the bag was good until it lasted but then when he started getting older we start carrying a little bit more diapers more food this that and the other and the things quit fit, fitting into it but it does clip on really conveniently yes. i can show you all that it does like this and like this it has these cool little mm -hmm. click on things so the bag is cool but you know it's it's just a, it's a lot of price that you pay so overall this thing is expensive like super expensive. We paid eight something for it, which I didn't realize we paid that much. But in conclusion, let's wrap this up. Had we, okay, I guess if you would ask me, would I've bought this now after trying it out? No, absolutely not. It was very short term use and it's even shorter term use for us due yeah. to our circumstances. Uh, very hot. Very heavy. We're driving high cars, and they're not even lifted. But it was very comp like it was difficult for me to. <laughs> it was difficult for me to put it in. So um, 
Is yeah, it you, really worth the money, you think? Absolutely not. I think that you are better off getting a proper stroller and a proper car seat that can grow with your kid for like six, seven, eight years until they don't need a booster seat and they don't need a stroller anymore versus spending, you know, $800 like we spent for this and we only got, we let, we had probably two and a half months of use out of it. Yeah, so funny fact is, right, our older daughter, it's been a while, so my husband must not remember, but, um, when we were buying this and we wanted a new cool hot item seemed to be so versatile and so cool i said we're not going to be able to use this for longer than six months that's what i was predicted right yeah people say oh you can use it after a year and yeah it depends on the baby you probably could i think that's a stretch our daughter was super wiggle warm she wanted to be out and about she did not want to sit in this thing for too long she wanted something bigger more comfortable and i expected the same thing with sai and but we bought it we thought it was cool and i agreed i'm like man this is gonna be so easy and so convenient at least for first three four months that was a complete fail for us yeah right so in summary doing it uh, everybody's situation is going to be different mm -hmm. but for us it's a definite skip i would never buy this thing again even though it is really cool and really sexy and attractive doesn't really work in real life and you're better off buying a proper car seat and a proper stroller so that's our consumer advice we are carrot life carrot life with the y like subscribe comment and all that and then some of the videos coming up we're going to be talking about the car seats and the strollers that we do like because mm -hmm. we have been collecting these because we are aficionados <laughs> of this type of things we like to try things out yes. for sure to find the best oh and i forgot to tell y'all yeah this is not a pay uh, review obviously because we just bashed this thing <laughs> well and that's what i'm saying i don't want to say it's a terrible thing no but for us with the size of the sun with the bigger cars or the taller cars you know and then maybe maybe we live in the wrong climate for this thing maybe you need to live where it doesn't get super crazy hot i don't, I don't know. know but for us it doesn't work for some people well, they loved it we stopped several people in miami and asked hey how do you like yeah. it and they're like oh i would love it this is my second child and if i would have done the this the first time around i would have loved it too yeah and then for us it was complete fail so yeah. all right so we'll see you on the next vlog we're out peace <laughs> Thank you.